I'll go back into stacks. I'll add a stack, get repo again. It's the same refs head. This time it is, oops, docker droppy.yaml. And if, and if you remember in here, droppy was expecting a tag called version and a tag called port. So if I try and deploy this at the moment, it would fail because I don't have anything in there. So I need to put in my credentials again, automatic updates. And now I can say add environment variables, version, latest, port 89.89. And we will now go and deploy that. And that will now go and mesh the two together. And you see in here services, here is my droppy service that's using latest and it's using port 89.89. So I was able to merge the generic uh, compose file that was held in Git with an override environment variable in Portainer at deploy time. And again, that is now up and running. And again, I can make changes uh, to the back end and that would propagate through to here. Now I can also come into here and say, oops, say demo two. I want to, I want to, to edit it. So let's say I want to change it from 8989 to 8990. I can do that, save settings, and that will then update also on the next reconciliation loop. So if we come back, this should eventually be at two and this should be 8990 because that's it's got this, this reconciliation loop that's going through. The pull always. Right, so the question around image pull here. So we, we, we added this feature in here, which is automatic updates, pull latest. Here, we will force a pull from the registry that is referenced in the manifest, even if it is already running. So we will do a pull, it will, it will check against the registry and pull down, even if there is one held in the cache. So if you if you think that, like if you, if you are reusing tags, now you shouldn't, re, shouldn't reuse tags, but if you are reusing tags, uh, you can turn on pull latest and we will always pull before we actually redeploy. So we'll do a pull, then we'll do the redeploy. So you can use this to try and work around any issues where, where, where you've got image cache issues or if you're reusing image tags. So you can use this to work around that, that behavior.